Perfect is the enemy of the good. I wanna share a story with you on the first time I learned that lesson back in college when I was a bartender for a fine dining restaurant. This was a very valuable lesson for me to learn because it absolutely applies to most businesses and especially my business today. So I had just started working at this fine dining restaurant as a bartender. It was a busy Friday night. I was already a little bit behind on my drink lead time, about four or five minutes. And we had a big sorority party come in and I think there was about 25 women in that party. So we had a specialty drink called the Daddy's Little Princess. That was a unique cocktail and it was the most complex drink to make in the whole restaurant. I had 25 of those come back at the same time to the bar. Now, each drink takes anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds to make. And I'm thinking myself as a customer, I'd rather have a drink that was on time, that was maybe 95% correct, than a drink that needs to be perfect, that's three or four times the weight that it should be. Now, what made this drink special was the garnishes we put around the rim. And one of the garnishes was strawberries. And we were actually out of strawberries, so I had to improvise and I used oranges around the rim instead. So anyway, I sent all the drinks out there, I got them out there on time, and they had oranges instead of strawberries. So it wasn't perfect, but it was good service because we got the drinks to the table in the recommended time frame. Now, I actually got in trouble for that, and it actually caused a pretty big disagreement between myself and the supervising manager at the time because he said that I should have waited on the strawberries. And that's what I knew, I was probably gonna be an entrepreneur because I didn't agree with him, we got into an argument, and I quit actually a few weeks later. But it was a great experience for me, and that was part of what made me who I am today. So in my opinion, especially with my business, and in most businesses, you never wanna sacrifice speed for perfection. So my advice to young entrepreneurs and business owners is don't wait for things to be perfect. Just get moving and get your production out into the world.